Hello guys, today I'll be teaching you how to create a ping pong game. Um, this game is just uh, about it's just like a brick game where you have to move your paddle and never allow the ball to hit the ground. If not, it's game over. So start off by choosing our backdrop. Um, okay. She use either this or this. Okay. Let me go for. I think this is okay. Yeah, and pink pong. Yeah. So we need a ball. So go to our sprites, then click on. Here's a ball here. You can use this. But we need to reduce the size a little. say 75 okay think this is good yeah then our paddle we should increase the size of this too Okay, then first off, I think we should just start the simple way. Okay, the backdrop. We have to this this backdrop a little bit. We'll come here. I did the backdrop. Okay, so we have to add this. You will know about this later. Let's use yellow. Oh, red is better. Yep, I think this is better. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is better. Okay, then next we. I think I should make this smaller. Yeah, I, th I think I should do that. Uh, I don't think that's possible. Let's just leave it that way. Okay, first off, we start by this paddle. Start by adding the code to the paddle. We okay, one flag is clicked. Go to mouse pointer. So and we have to move it. The actually going around. Okay, we have to have the forever loop. So it's always going around, trying to make sure the ball doesn't get to this line. So I think that's the code for this one and for the ball. Okay, so okay, we have to start here. When flag is clicked and forever loop. Okay, we go here first. Then go to random position. When flag is clicked, go to random position, then point in direction. Should make it 45 degrees, so it just doesn't skip moving anywhere. Okay, then put the forever loop and make it move 10 steps. And if on edge bounce, okay. I think that's that for the movements. 
is okay. Small and fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, then. I think we have a long way to go. So, to enable this part, as, as you can see, this is moving, as this is moving, even if the part touches it, nothing will happen. So, the code for this one is just, okay, let's see, when, when flag is clicked, I think, okay, when flag is clicked, if, Searching Ado, and we want it to actually turn 180 degrees forward. Yep, I want it to turn 180 degrees forward. So So only work because of the forever loop. I think this is very very important. The forever loop is important. Okay, so as you can see now, it touches it, goes up, goes up. Okay. Then we add our other things like for this line. Now here we come for the line. We have to make it such that if the ball touches this line while playing the game, then it's game over. So come here and flag is clicked. So if Oh, I think we should put it here to save space. If touching color, so I will choose the color because of the red line here. Will do then I want it to stop to stop all so let's try no don't want that okay so it keeps moving it keeps moving yeah Yeah, and that's good. So to keep going, going, then it stops. As you can see. So let's add some finishing touches, like the score and sounds and everything. Let's create a variable for the score. is for sprites okay you can actually do this okay so for the score you see when flag is clicked if touching okay yeah if touching okay if the ball is touching the Paddle. Once it's actually be that the score will change by one. So we'll come here. 
then change it by one. And I'll actually put this so it has to always continue from where it stopped. So when this great adventure I set this to five. Yeah. So. so if this is in five now, and when I press the flag, I click on the flag. It's actually, going to change to zero, so that will help you to actually know your actual score. So avoid having to hoop to loop the score every time. Yeah. So um. If touching paddle wants it to change score by one, then wait one second so it doesn't keep running throughout the game. Then the forever look very, very important. Yeah. Okay, for the sound, put the sound here. Then I well, actually want sound for this if touching the red color. So sound to come here. Okay. I want to use this laser. So we come to the sound and start sound. Okay, I'll put it here. Laser. So well, I'm trying to just play my game. And I get a little distracted. You could actually, you know, make that sound. Yeah, that's good. So, I think we are almost done here, actually. Yeah, let's cruise it a little bit. Okay, so we can actually add some touches to the ball, you know, to make the game a little flashy. So we can change it because, as you can see here in the ball costume, we have different ones. So we can actually come to the code here. So make it that if it's touching the paddle. I actually want it to change the color. So since the color is already set in the costume, we just make it change, switch to the next costume. Yeah. Okay. I want this. Okay, let's use next costume. So let's try it out. Yeah. That's very nice. I like this one. Yeah, thanks for watching.